Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to Math with Sir Kiko. In today's lesson, we're going to discuss on how to subtract decimal numbers with decimal parts up to three decimal places with regrouping. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Let's go. Now, today we will discuss the quarter two week number six, subtract decimal numbers with regrouping. So, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to subtract decimal numbers with decimal parts up to three decimal places with regrouping. Now, steps in subtracting decimal numbers. First, you're going to write the decimal numbers in column. Second is you're going to align the decimal point vertically. And then third, you subtract the decimal numbers like a whole number. And then align the decimal point of the answer to the decimal numbers above. Now, Let's have some example to further analyze how to subtract the decimal numbers with regrouping. First, we have 18 and 894 thousands minus 5 and 689 thousands. First, align the decimal in column or align the decimal point vertically. Then, subtract the decimal number as a whole number. 4 minus 9 cannot be borrowed by 9. 9 becomes 8 and then... 4 becomes 14. Then 14 minus 9, the answer is 5. Then 8 minus 8, the answer is 0. 8 minus 6, the answer is 2. 8 minus 5, the answer is 3. And then bring down 1. Then place your decimal point. The answer is 13 and 205 thousands. As simple as that. Then, example number 2. We have 25 and 30 hundreds minus 14 and 279 thousands. Again, align the decimal in column, align the decimal point vertically, then subtract as a number as a whole number. 0 minus 5 cannot be borrowed by 3. 3 becomes 2, then 0 becomes 10. Then 10 minus 5, the answer is 5. Then 2 minus 7 cannot be borrowed by 0. Then 0 borrowed by 5. 5 becomes 4, then 0 becomes 10. Then 2 borrowed by 10, the answer, 10 becomes 9, and then 2 becomes 12. Then proceed, 12 minus 5, 7, the answer is 5. Then 9 minus 2, the answer is 7. Then 4 minus 4, the answer is 0. And then 2 minus 1, the answer is 1. The answer is 10 and 755. Thousands. Okay, simple as that. Next, number three, we have eight and forty-two hundreds, thousands rather, minus three and nine hundred fifty-six thousands. Again, align the decimal in column, then use the de uh, align the de uh, decimal point vertically, then subtract the decimal numbers as a whole number, two minus six. Cannot be borrowed by 4. 4 becomes 3. 2 becomes 12. Then 12 minus 6, the answer is 6. 3 minus 5 cannot be borrowed by 0. 0 borrowed by 8. 8 becomes 7. And then 0 becomes 10. And then 3 borrowed by 10, the answer is 9. Then 3 becomes 13. 13 minus 5, the answer is 8. 9 minus 9, 0. And then 7 minus 3, the answer is 4. Okay? And place your decimal point. The answer is, this. the answer must be 4 and 8. 4 and 86 and uh, thousands. Okay? Next. So, let's have some guided practice. Subtract the following num uh, decimal numbers. Number 1, number 2, and number 3, number 4, number 5. Comment down your answer in the comment section below. Okay. 
Comment down your answer. That's it. Number one. The answer is 26 and 219 thousands. Number two, we have 23 and 734 thousands. Number four, we have 11 and 848 thousands. Number four, we have 20 and 185 thousands. And number five, the answer is 5 and 325 thousands. That's it. So take note in subtracting decimal numbers. Uh, grade 5 pupils, first you're going to write the decimal numbers in column. Second is you're going to align the decimal point vertically. And fifth, we, uh, third, we have the subtract the decimal numbers like the whole number. And then lastly, you're going to place your decimal point to the answer above. Okay, that's it. So in real life application, we have... Abbas had the 75 and 26,000 liters of fuel in the morning. After the trip, it consumed 48 and 987 liters. How many liters of fuel remain in the tank? First, these are the given. We have 75 and 226,000 liters. And it consumes 48 and 987 thousands of liters now the question is how many liters of you will remain remain means subtract so we need to subtract you need to align the decimal point vertically and then proceed to subtraction six minus seven cannot be borrowed by two two becomes one and then since becomes 16 16 minus seven the answer is nine correct one minus eight cannot be so borrowed by zero zero Borrowed by 5, 5 becomes 4, and then 0 becomes 10, then 10 becomes 9 because 1 borrowed, so therefore 1 becomes 11. Then 11 minus 8, the answer is 3, 9 minus 9, 0, and then we have 4, borrowed by uh, 4 minus 8 cannot be, borrowed by 7, 7 becomes 6 and then 4 becomes 14. 14 minus 8, the answer is 6. And then 6 minus uh, 4, the answer is 2. Then place your decimal point, the answer is 26 and 39,000 liters of you will remain. Okay? So, to practice your skills, try to subtract the following decimal numbers. Comment down your answer in the comment section below. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you and God bless everyone.